In this video, we are going to learn about inscribed quadrilaterals in circles. So first, let's just draw a circle. Now, an inscribed quadrilateral, this word inscribed means inside the circle such that all the points on the quadrilateral are on the circle. So an example of an inscribed quadrilateral would be this. It is a shape with four sides, so it's a quadrilateral, and all four vertices are on the circle. So this is an inscribed quadrilateral, and inscribed quadrilaterals have one interesting property, which is that their opposite angles are always supplementary. And it doesn't matter what circle it is or what inscribed quadrilateral it is, this will always be the case. And so what that means is that if we call these angles A, B, C, and D, we know that the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle C equals 180 degrees. So these two angles right here are supplementary. And similarly, these two angles will be supplementary. So the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle D also equals 180 degrees. Notice that so far this should sort of make sense because all together all four angles must then equal 360 which is true for a quadrilateral so it makes sense. Now you might wonder why is it 180 degrees? It's definitely not obvious just by looking at it so let's think about that. So let's think about angle A and angle C. So angle A right here is an inscribed angle to arc B, C, D. So what that means is that the measure of angle A equals one half the measure of arc B, C, D. All right, so that's one thing we know for sure. Now for angle C, angle C is also an inscribed angle and the arc that it intercepts is arc B, A, D. So that means that the measure of angle C equals one half the measure of arc B, A, D. Okay, now what do we know about those two big arcs, arc B, A, D and arc B, C, D? Well, all together, they form the whole circle. So that means that the measure of arc BCD plus the measure of arc BAD equals 360 degrees because it's the whole circle. So that means if we divide everything by two right here, so we have one half the measure of arc BCD plus one half the measure of arc BAD, that must equal 180 degrees. All we did from this equation to the second one is divide everything by two. And this exactly is what we were talking about here. If we sort of combine all three of these highlighted equations, we'll end up with the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle C equals 180. All you have to do is some substitution. Since the measure of arc BCD, one half of that is the measure of angle A, we can substitute in the measure of angle A right here. And similarly, since one half the measure of BAD is just the measure of angle C, we can substitute in the measure of angle C right here. So we have measure of angle A plus the measure of angle C equals 180 degrees, which is exactly what we said up here. So opposite angles of a quadrilateral that's inscribed in a circle will always equal 180 degrees. They'll always be supplementary. And this is due to inscribed angles and the fact that a full circle is 360 degrees.